Please It's Jess. So today I have, as requested, a MAC starter kit. So in front of me I have my top 12 products that I have found to be the most lovely of all the MAC products I have in my collection. So these are basically the 12 I'd say if you're going into the MAC shop for the first time but you're not really knowing what you're doing. You can't really go wrong with them no matter what skin tone and yeah, so I just really like them. I've got a full face of MAC right now, aside from foundation, as I don't own a MAC foundation. So, all the products I'm going to mention will probably be on my face, so I can you can refer to my face if you're unsure about anything. I'm going to start off with the product I'd say you should probably invest in first, and that is a lipstick. So I've got two here with me today. So I've got Cream Cut and I've got Modesty, and they're both cream sheen lipsticks. Apparently I love a good cream sheen. But I just find the cream sheens are so moisturising and so lovely. So this is Cream Cup. And it's a nudish baby pink. And I've got it on right now. I'll swatch it. And I just think it's really perfect for every day. Can't really go wrong with it. And my second one is called Modesty. And it's more of like a brownie, more grown up colour. And it's this one. And I find this one is really lovely for again everyday use and I just find it's a really pretty colour that you wouldn't really think oh that's really lovely but when you put it on it's like wow that's actually quite classy and that's really nice so then my lipsticks I'd say were the first to go to a MAC the next thing is the fun part in my opinion and that's the eyeshadows when you're going to MAC there is such an array of eyeshadows you're like Whoa. so I'm, I have found four because you can get quads you can get duos as well and their little palettes and it just saves you a bit of money in the long run I've got one of these, they're the old palettes, but I've got one of these palettes and I've taken my four out at the moment so it looks like I've got nothing in there, but, so they look like that and I've, got, I've only got four in there at the moment, they're really random colours, but um, so I've got my four that I'd say they're probably the most wearable of the ones I've seen, well in my collection especially, but um, I'll start off with the one that I use as sort of my all over lid colour and highlight and that is a bit different I, I like a matte colour on the eye for a base so mine's Brule and Brule is a well it's kind of my skin colour I don't know it probably isn't many other people's skin colour as it's so light but it basically is you can't even see it on my skin colour but it's really really good for like blending I can't even see it, I'm sorry really good for blending colours and I will use it as an overall sort of it just helps I shows blend a bit better into the the lid and yeah, so that's that, and I really think this is a lovely colour for people who are fair, like me. Same colour as my hair as well. So yeah, I think this is a lovely colour for people who are fair. Secondly, this is good for all skin tones, and this is Woodwinked, and this is probably my number one favourite product overall from MAC ever. And it's this, like, goldy, it's gorgeous, it's like, oh, it's so lovely. So it looks like a gold, right? So yeah, you've got the gold... It's fantastic, and all oh, think that's lovely. It's lovely. You can wear it all over the lid. But then you blend it out, and it blends into like a pink. And you can see there's two different like there's two different colours going on there. So I'm wearing it all over the lid today. Hang on, and I'm wearing nothing but woodwinked. So I literally have woodwinked. How impressive is that? So that is such a useful colour for just. If you're in a bit of a rush and don't really know what to do with your face, stick a bit of woodwinked all over the lid and blend it out. And you've got a full look going on there. Um, so the next one I've got is Satin Taupe. And this, as the name suggests, is like a brownie taupey colour. Um, I'll swatch that. And that is... Looks a bit, it looks like that. And I just think it's really lovely for in the crease. And... It's really handy for just darkening up the crease, giving it more of a day to night look and I just wear it a lot and I think it's really handy and it was a definitely a colour that I wear often enough to justify the purchase. So the next one is, oh it's so pretty, all that glitters and it's this like rose gold, it's beautiful, I don't know why I don't wear this more, um, and it looks like that. And yeah it's a rose gold, shimmery, beautiful colour that can be worn all over the lid in the tear duct, anywhere really, it's, it's just a really, really 
multi-use lovely colour. So I'd say they were my four colours, which if you were to go into matte, um, they'd be the four colours I would say to purchase. So the next two are blushes, and blush is my thing. I'm the biggest blush girl. I love blush. So I've actually nearly filled, well, I have filled, except some of them aren't. Some of them aren't depotted yet, but I have filled a whole one of these. So I've taken the two out that I'm um, showing you today, and then there's another one which is in my storage. So I've picked two colours today that I think are wearable regardless of your skin tone, and I just think they're really lovely colours. The first is Well Dressed, and it's this beautiful baby pink. It looks a bit like a dusty rose, I'm not sure. Yeah, more of like a light, dusty rose, actually. And it's just so pretty. You can barely see it. Oh, God, you, can, you can't really see it at all. Ugh, it's much harder, Jess. So, you can kind of see it there. Oh, it's on my face, basically. So, it's here. <laughs> and it's just a really lovely colour for every day. It's got little gold iridescence through it, so it's really pretty. And it can also act like a highlight. I'm not wearing a highlight right now. So... Anything that's highlighting on my face that's coming from this little baby. So the next one I've got is more of a dark matte colour. Is it matte? It is matte. And this is Mocha. And this is really great for the winter months. This is more so for the summer months. This is really good for the winter months. And it is this beautiful... I'll swatch this because this actually does definitely come up on swatch. And it's this lovely, like, again, dusty rose kind of pink colour. Um, but it's really good for all skin tones, as with this, but it's probably better for fair. They look quite similar when they're <laughs> up close, they don't look anything alike. Um, but the, this one is definitely a dark colour, it's more of an evening or dramatic blush. But um, I find both of them really, really wearable. And would say that if you were to go for to get a blush and had no idea what you're looking for, one of these would definitely, definitely, definitely suit your skin tone. And um, I find with Mocha, there's not many dupes for it. Maybe with Well Dressed, there's a couple. I'd say Mocha's in kind of a class of its own. I really, really think there's something special. This one is something that I find I use on a daily basis. And this is a paint pot. And I've broken mine. Because I'm like the biggest klutz in the world. And this is in Bear Study. And it is an eyeshadow base. And it's just, this is just such a pretty colour. So it looks like the most beautiful, shiny, oh it's just lovely, um, so it's just there, and it barely shows up, but it really, really does make eyeshadow stay, it's perfect for, if you really can't be bothered to do makeup properly and you just need to go out for the day, I always find this is kind of like my go-to product, so I just put it all over the lid, and then run out the house, I find this is really, really, really lovely, and I find, um, that with some of the other colours, I know I, <laughs> I used to have soft ochre, and I can't find it, and it's very heartbreaking. I found that one was perfect for my skin tone, except I know a lot of people don't have the same skin tone as me, as I am as white as a ghost. So therefore, I find it difficult to justify saying you should get soft ochre. But if you did get this, I think this would suit a majority of skin tones, as it is quite sheer. And... It's just lovely. I remember going to the shop in the morning and looking at the paint pots and thinking, what should I do? So I swatched all of them and saw which one had the best staying power because I thought that's probably the good, the good way to judge it. And I noticed that Bear Study was still going strong at the end of the day. So that's that's where my, my love for Bear Study began. So the next one is a tool and it's the MAC 217 brush. Now this is my absolute favourite brush ever. I have never found a brush that I've liked more than this and it's just so perfect for blending everything it's just it's really good for applying all over the lid colour it's good for blending out I know I used one brush today for my eyeshadow look and that was the 217 and it applied so perfectly and so lovely I just don't think there's any way saying it's not the perfect brush this is how it is and it's expensive. Well, if you're going to MAC for the first time, you probably think, I don't know how much it is in pounds, but I know for a fact in Japan it's very expensive. And I really couldn't justify buying it for absolute ages. And then eventually I sort of mucked up the courage to spend the money. And I have absolutely never spent money on makeup better. 
Um, for one, it's I've used it so far for maybe six to eight months, and there is absolutely no wear and tear at all. Um, I use it absolutely every single day, and I find that if you're really investing in good makeup tools, I'd say this was a brush that you'd probably want to spend the dough on, in my opinion, which you're here to see. So therefore, this is a good brush. The next one's a little bit different. I wouldn't say this is everybody's cup of tea, but personally, when I'm applying my foundation, I like a matte finish. I just do. And this is filthy. But um, my mineralized, mineralized skin finish, natural, in I, I'm in light plus. I cracked mine, unfortunately. But um, I just find I wear this absolutely all the time, or every single day. If I'm not wearing this, I'm wearing another cracked product. We can just break these things. Great. Um, I'm always mattifying my skin, so this is really lovely, and it always stays on a really long time like I always feel like I don't need to retouch with this also with mineralized skin finishes they do do highlighters and this is one from a limited edition collection but I know that there is a lot of product in here um, and I know soft and gentle is really really popular as a highlight color so if you were going to go and really invest in a highlighter or I wouldn't say there's so much investment because you can go through them really quickly but if you're going if you're investing in a highlighter I'd say a mineralized skin finish is probably a good way of going about it. Not so much with one of these, but if you do like to mattify your skin, I'd say this was a really, really good product to use. So my final product, I'd say, was more of a personal thing, I guess, but I have a thing about concealers. I don't like concealers very often. I find that when I'm applying my makeup, I like to cover absolutely everything up and then work from there. Probably isn't a good way to go about it, as I have pretty, pretty clear skin, so having pigmentation and suddenly covering your skin up with, like, an, I don't know, a whole layer of foundation probably isn't the best way of going about it. But I always find that if I've got redness, I like it to be well covered up. And MAC concealers seem to be the best ones for me. I don't know about other people, but I've got my summer and I've got my winter. So I've got NW20 and NW15. And sometimes I need to mix the two. But um, I found my favourite concealer by them is their Select Moisture, Select Moisture Cover. And I have really dry skin, so if anybody's looking for a concealer, has quite dry skin, I'd say this was the concealer for you. Um, I'd say if you're going to MAC and you're investing in a really, you know, product you'll use every single day and perhaps, you know, integrate it into your everyday makeup routine I'd say the concealers are a good way of going about it. I really hope you enjoyed this if you did let me know if you have any more requests do let me know as you can tell by this video being in existence I am doing exactly what you asked me to do as I believe that's important having a relationship with you guys because you guys are the reason I'm here it's so lovely and I really really am grateful for that so yeah thank you so much lovelies bye <laughs>